Hi everyone, welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. In a day in anime reaction, watch episode 6 of The Tales of Zisteria. The X. Or is it Zisteria? Dun dun dun. Scream. If you want to check out our reaction to the 6th episode of Tales of Zisteria, The X. Hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. So, so, yeah. Hmm. In this episode of Tales of Hysteria, episode one of Tales of Berseria. Actually, episode two of Tales of Berseria. Oh, so, it's again following, um, following uh, Velvet, Velvet Crow. So, Velvet. Velvet, uh, Ceres, Ceres, and uh, uh, Rokuro. Rokuro. And we're also introduced to a couple other characters in this episode. But meh. Um, before we really started with this, I did want to mention we're doing a little bit of research on the series. And as it turns out, uh, all these characters are from the game that came out or is coming out in it says 2016, so I'm not I'm not sure. Mm. I didn't check the actual date on that, but it's um, uh, actually I still have the page up, so I can just uh, ding, ding, ding. August, August 18th. 18th. Oh, it's oh, just it, released. It's about to release Bye. in Japan. It's going to come out in North America next what? year. Um, but so it, yeah, it, all the characters are from Tales of Berseria. Which is takes place in the same world as Tales of Zisteria, but in the, the distant past. So I was sort of right when the dragon came. It, it's different. It's still similar, but it's different. Hmm. But you know, I made I made I made a correlation between the fact that there weren't that many dragons that they knew of with uh, Sorie, Sorry and Alicia. And, uh, Zisteria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the Zaseria group, they were like, oh, there's just the one dragon. Or, and then these, uh, that, that spectral dragon was completely unseen. So it's not a... Hmm. However, in this one, a dragon comes out and destroys one of the ships. And they're just like, oh, it's a dragon. Like, it, it's something that happens like two, three times a year or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, yeah. Uh, time to bring in the laundry. <laughs> uh, anyways, so Velvet is facing off against uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Asshole. <laughs> uh, hang on. Let me see if they have it on the character list. Oh, Oscar. Oscar. Yeah, so Velvet is facing off against Oscar, and then suddenly a dragon pops up and destroys one of the ships that uh, that the um, that the Exorcist had come in on. Yeah, destroyed the ship. By the way, I did want to point out with Maggie Lou. Yeah, that's her name, Maggie Lou, the uh, magician. Go figure. She was just sleeping on the ship, and the ship gets utterly destroyed with her in it, and she just pops onto the shore like nothing happened. Uh, before that, I, I really, I really wanted to mention the um, "shut up, bitch, you're talking too much" scene, where Oscar is spouting his mouth off about righteousness and re and religion. How full monologue. Full monologue mode, and then and Velvet picks up picks up a brick about that big and knocks one of his guards off the pier. About a, about a hundred feet or so. Damn. Just just silent. Not even with her good hand either, with her normal human hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shut up, bitch. You're talking too much. And then he continues monologuing, which that pisses me off. But, whatever. I mean, it, it's He's the bad guy. Yeah. Who cares? It's supposed to piss you off a little bit. Right. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. The so then the dragon pops out, eats a bunch of the exorcists, gives them a whole hell of a problem, and basically starts going after Velvet. And Ceres comes out to to uh, protect Velvet. And in the process, they both get blown back into, I think it's the lower levels of the prison. Into some building, I suppose. And then the next time that we see them, uh, Ceres is mortally wounded. She got stabbed with icicles through her chest. Ouch. And tells tells, uh, Velvet to devour her. So that she can use, so that Velvet can uh, use uh, Ceres' powers, I guess. A uh, art power up. Gain ability. <laughs> Absorb Dragon Soul. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yes, total missed opportunity in there for the uh, for the for the uh, for all the sky. Especially, especially the way that uh, Velvet and Ceres get knocked into the temple. It was totally a fusrudah. It wasn't. A, it wasn't a fire blast. It was a fusrudah. More like fusrudah, but but still like boom. Pretty much. But yeah, then uh, uh, then Velvet comes up, comes back out of the building, and. Uh, with destroys the dragon, pretty much. I mean, comes out with leading with a fire blast, which was Ceres' power, and grabs it and choke slams it, literally grabs its throat and flips it over onto its back. Choke slams a dragon. And then proceeds to start devouring it with her hand. Oscar what is she, Vampire Hunter D? <laughs> Nice. Oscar nice attempts reference. to stop her, but I think he attempted to keep uh, monologuing until he st- until he saw her. Then he was just like, <clears throat> "Well, huh. well, he he did stab her with a bolt of energy." Yeah, and she just shrugged it off. Yeah, but he, he did attempt to stop her because obviously devouring Ceres, which he figured out, uh, and devouring a dragon would make Velvet extremely powerful. Now, obviously, the, the devouring of those souls, hmm. that, that's that's quite... how powerful they've made her over the years with how many demons that they've sent for her to devour. Probably stupidly strong. And, like, they, they probably have no idea what she's actually capable of. She oh. probably doesn't know what she's actually capable of because she's been stuck in that cell for I don't know how many years. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so she de- oh no, I'm good. <laughs> okay, uh, she devours the dragon. When she devours the dragon, it sets off a giant explosion and blows away uh, Oscar. And so Velvet, uh, Rokuro, uh, Maggie Lou. Was there anybody else? I think that was it. That's it. They they all escaped on the on the ship. Yep. Also, uh, kind of a split decision on Maggie Lou's character. You don't really like her. You think she's a more or less a Harley Quinn knockoff. Well, it's not necessarily the Harley Quinn knockoff that really upsets me. It's the design of Harley of the Harley Quinn costume. I hate Jester costumes. I really do. Like, the only reason why I'm okay with the Harley Quinn thing. Is because, you know, that's so popular, there's no way to change it. And plus, what what, what would you look better? Well, how would you make that look better? I mean, they, they attempted and... Uh, well, actually, yeah, Harley Quinn as a character more. has a shit ton of different costume variations, but I can... Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a matter of personal of personal taste. But iconically, just the, the gesture outfit, outfit as a whole. Yeah, and it just I'm like I'm like Death Death the Kid. Symmetric. Come on, symmetry. symmetry. At least give me some. That that just drives me. 
bad shit. So it's mostly just the costume. I Great. do agree that I wish that they would have gone in a different direction with her costume. But I mean, it does like you can just visually see that she's going to be that that sort of comic. She's the fool. Yeah, that's her character personality. Yeah, and all the details that come with her uh, are supposed to reflect that. But so yeah, her outfit, her um, her uh, theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Which was hilarious in the middle of a freaking epic fight. I know, she's standing there, uh, so, yeah, she's just standing there trying to get Velvet's attention, and this dragon just comes skidding down the pier, you know, battle going on, no big deal. And she's sitting there trying to introduce herself. You know, oh, not, not even. She's like, why did you wake me up? And she's just going off on Velvet. Battle woke her up. Yeah, no other reason. Chaotic. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I find cool. her to be a pretty hilarious character. I don't mind the character. I, yeah, the, just, the it's weird. just the outfit. Oh, uh, okay. The character itself seems very amusing. I love the character. I can't wait to see more, especially with the um, turning the card into a freaking Harrison. <laughs> that was <laughs> or nice. whatever. Well, that and also playing carpet, so. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was that was really cool. I like I like that the card magician characters as as in general. Yeah. Um, uh, do we have anything else other than the exclamation point of holy shit? This animation. Damn it, Ufotable. Just Keep it up. Yes. Like the the Keep fight be, the fight between Oscar and Velvet was. Now, see, uh, or gas going, it, going back to reference one of Ufotable's earlier works, God Eater, this is the way that you use slow mo. You use slow mo when there's some fast action going on so that you can properly animate what's going on. You don't use slow mo when characters are walking down the fucking hallway. Hey, here. Especially not 10 times in a row. Or like. <laughs> yeah. It's like what the hell? There, yeah. yeah, this is the way that you do it. Not not that other way. Uh, they learned from the mistake that was God Eater. I hope so. Maybe they fired that director uh, out of a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so in the preview for the next episode, which was <laughs> I, I love I love the video game format, right? I love the previews for the series, but uh, they reveal that. Velvet, uh, Rokuro, and Maggie Lou will not be in the next episode. <laughs> Hilarious. So either they're going to focus on other characters from the Tales of Basuria, or they're going to go back to focus on our characters from Tales of Zisteria. Hey, but the, the, the scene was just hilarious. I mean, just they, talking. they're sitting there, they're like, oh yeah, this is a, this is a brilliant brilliant episode title because you know i have my i have my thoughts and she has her thoughts and i have my thoughts and yeah but, but we're not by the way the next, but we're not going to be in the next episode what <laughs> <laughs> really it's fourth wall break anyway so uh let us know what you thought of the anime what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below yep thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you don't but that's gonna do it for this episode of anime reaction as always i'm dk i'm zero and i'm rizzo see, see you next time, time.